Hey guys, here with another Android video. In this video, I am showing you Drop Sync. Uh, this is the Pro version, which is uh, $499 and $249 right now because it's on the Memorial Weekend. But most likely, when you watch this video, it's going to be already $499. Uh, what it is, it gives you the ability to create a folder on your phone that automatically syncs to your Dropbox account. Um, automatically when you edit a program when you add a, a file to that folder or any folder it automatically syncs it to your Dropbox that's the same feature we get in our PCs or in our Macs um, of course this only applies if you are a Dropbox user if you're not a Dropbox user uh, you might consider it because I'm telling you I'm very faithful to Dropbox love it so but this gives you the same ability you have in your computer but on your phone so let's go ahead and open it up there's two version like I said a free version and a paid version the free version only lets you um, sync one folder that's it only one folder and it also has a limit upload of 10 megabytes per file that's if I'm not making it syncing is 10 megabytes per file on uh, the pro version you have unlimited folders you can sync every single folder if you want from your phone uh, you also don't have any limit whatsoever on this file do you upload it could be a video it could be a music a music file whatever so what it is when you first open it up you, it's going to ask you for a Dropbox account. It's going to ask you for your email, for your password. So just make sure you know that and you put it in into this app. So once you do that, automatically this is what you're going to see. This is um, the sync status you're going to see right here. Here, your auto sync power. I have it set it up for only power and only when connected to Wi Fi network. Uh, right now, it's not Mac because it's not connected. Um, over here, upload the files, download the files, local deleted, uh, remote deleted one file. Over here, you can see your Dropbox account. And over here, you can also see your, um, your storage quota, which, which right now I got over 77 gigabytes of. Of, um, of Dropbox storage so that's pretty good and I have available over 74 gigabytes so let me show you guys go here to sync uh, here let's go to settings uh, let's go ahead and create a folder so you see how easy it is to create a folder here so it could be synced up to your Dropbox over here sync a folder right now I have like you see right here right now I have the download folder for the phone I got it linked up to my to my Dropbox. So anything that I put on my Dropbox, on my download folder, everything that I download to my phone and it goes to the download folder will automatically get synced to my Dropbox. So I could go ahead to my computer and access it. And it, it, it applies two ways. But let's go ahead and create another folder. Let's go out of sync. Here you create a folder. It says please select a, a local folder to be synced with Dropbox. Like you can see, I can select any folder from my phone to be linked to Dropbox. Right now I could go ahead and choose any folder, but let's go ahead and create a new folder. New folder. Let's go ahead and put it um HTC one stuff. HTC one uh, stuff okay so that's the name of the folder I created let's now let's go ahead and choose it let's go ahead and choose HTC like you see right here HTC one stuff create it select it I'm gonna select that now since it's it's uh, right now it's gonna tell me please select the Dropbox folder to sync storage with this folder that I chose so right here you're gonna see all the folders that are on my Dropbox. So right now I'm going to go ahead and create a, another folder with the same name. That way I know that it's the same folder of my phone here. Let's go ahead and create another folder. HTC one stuff. Okay. So now that folder is being created on my Dropbox account. So let's go ahead here, select it, and yes, that's the one I want selected. So like you see right here, these are the parameters I chose. Local folder is going to be HTC One Stuff. My Dropbox folder is going to be HTC One Stuff. Um, here, choose the sync method. method. Um, this is the one that is the more common. This is the one that we always use, a two-way that means that any changes you create here will apply to your computer and any, any changes you create in your computer will automatically sync to here. If that's what you want, make sure you choose that. That's the one, the normal one we always use. You can also use this one. 
upload then delete if you choose that one what it's gonna do is it's gonna upload to Dropbox then it's gonna make space on your phone it's gonna delete the file from your phone but before after it uploads it to Dropbox so if that's what you want you could do that or you could do it either way it doesn't matter I'm gonna choose uh, two way so now let's go ahead and select next and here sync enabled and done so now it's done now I got two folders that's going to be linking to my Dropbox automatically. This one, my download folder from my phone, and the HTC One stuff from my phone. That's it. So let's go ahead back over here. Um, let me show you guys some of the settings that I have over here. It says skip hidden files. Yes. Upload size limit. Uh, by default, I think it's going to be on 8 megab megabytes. But right now, I want no limits. So I could upload any type of file without limitations over here enable auto sync make sure you have that selected auto sync intervals I have every 30 minutes but like you can see you can choose up to 24 hours I'm gonna choose at 30 minutes uh, we try delay every 10 minutes instant upload detect new and modify local local files and try to upload them instantly I have that one over there now this make sure you apply one of these here you want to upload only me at least myself only when on power or USB connected or you could choose this one uh, on power USB connected and battery but the problem is if you use battery and you're below 50% or something like that it's gonna drain your battery so right now I could recommend only using it when you're connected also here internet connection make sure you always use only Wi-Fi because if you use both Wi-Fi and mobile, it's going to, again, burn your battery life. And it's also going to be very slow if you have bad service. So right there, these are my two uh, these are my two rules that I have for auto sync, which is great. Here, of course, you can control the light or dark of the theme. Everything else, you could just leave it the way it is. So now let's go ahead to my computer so you guys can see the folder that was created okay so now let's go ahead and get started um, here I connected the power to my phone because that's one of the rules that we selected right only sync when the power is connected so let's go ahead here to my Dropbox folder oh look at this right away in my in my computer the folder that we just created you see right here it says HTC HTC one stuff it's already created that's awesome so let's go ahead here to my our, let's go ahead to my m m file manager which I use is ES ES a file browser or file manager something like that it's very good let's look for a file let's over here let's look look for a video this is these are one of the Zoe videos that I create uh, let's go ahead and show you guys what it is before I show you upload it um, start over so I'm gonna upload this video to my computer which this is one of the Zoe videos so let's go ahead and link that let's go ahead and choose it right uh, let's see how how big it is how big is that file uh, let's go to properties and that file is over 12 megabytes not bad uh, let's go ahead and copy it let's go ahead and choose uh, HTC one stuff right here and let's go ahead and choose paste so right now like you see right there I chose paste let's go over here to my computer let's go over here let's go to drop sync it looks like it's uploading a file uh, when it's done you're gonna see it on my computer right there up here Let's see and that's using my Wi-Fi like I said you like with the rule that I created which was only on Wi-Fi and only when connected to USB or power okay it's on 99 percent now it's done like you see right here I got a pop-up on my computer and the video just appeared right there let's go ahead and see yep like you see totally up here yes that's good that's awesome so like you see that was very easy very fast of course though it's gonna be as fast as your internet is okay so now that we saw it this way now let's go ahead and add a couple files over here to this folder so we can go ahead and see it on the on my phone so let's go ahead and choose over here a couple folder pictures I'm gonna choose that that wallpaper I'm gonna put it over here 
Uh, let's go ahead and choose another wallpaper. I'm going to go ahead and put another wallpaper over here. I'm going to put this wallpaper and this wallpaper, two Bioshock wallpapers to my phone. So right here, like you see, it's already done because this is of course Dropbox on my computer automatically syncs. And over here, sometimes you got to hit it refresh. If it doesn't refresh, you could go ahead back over here to drop sync and you can also force it to sync. Let's go ahead here, sync now, and it should start syncing like you see there. Right now it's syncing the files that I put on my computer. And those are pretty big files, those are two megabytes. Those are very big um, wallpapers. So now let's go ahead and get out of here. Now let's go ahead back to my file manager. Let's go ahead and refresh this. And now like you see right there, the, f the pictures are right there. Let's go ahead and choose this. And there is one of the pictures. And there is another of the pictures, just like here. Like here and here. Very, very good. This is awesome, guys. Um, and like I said, if you got it for $249, lucky you, because this is totally worth it. Uh, $499, of course, it's worth it. If you are a Dropbox user, of course, if you're not, well, this doesn't apply to you either way. But it's awesome. And now you could, I could have synced all my downloads folder I could have synced my whole phone. I could have synced my whole phone to my computer very easily. And just make sure you put those rules like only sync when you are connected, when your phone is connected to your power. Um, that way you don't burn battery when you're when you're syncing. Also make sure you always use Wi-Fi instead of mobile because Wi-Fi is gonna be faster, of course. And always if you wanna force, if you wanna force the update faster, because remember sometimes it won't update automatically because we chose the intervals. I chose 30 minutes intervals. So it might not change up until 30 minutes. Then it will sync. But right now, if I want to force sync, just sync now. Just press right there, sync now. And it will automatically start syncing your files or any changes that you have done in your in your and your phone will be automatically synced to your computer. So guys, that's it. I hope you guys liked the video. This was a look at DropSync Pro for Android. Till next time, guys.